Okay. If I'm a little frustrated and I try to rush through this, it's because I am. Because I've already recorded this once and I messed it up. And plus it was way too long. So, I'm going to jump right into it. And actually, I'm creating the first part of the video because I've already made the last part. If that makes sense. So, um, it's a ghost story. It's going to be spooky time with Amy. I'm going to start doing these videos about once a week because I've had a lot of paranormal experiences throughout my entire life. I see, sense, feel, hear, whatever, spirits, demons, demonic spirits, and I know a lot about the spirit realm. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will definitely answer back and I will help you as much as I can with uh, any questions you might have about the spirit realm. So, anyway, so when I was 16, my mom and I and my, my baby sister, who was a baby at the time, moved into this house. But before we moved there, my mom had already seen the place I hadn't. And she told me we were going to live there, and I had a bad feeling. So that night I had this dream that I was standing in front of this house, and there was a creek in front of it, and a wooden, old wooden rickety bridge going across the creek to the house. And there was, like, all this land, all these trees, blue, light blue shutters, white siding, and it was old as all get out. Uh, it was so decent, but it was just an old house, but it was well built. So anyways, and I'm sitting in front of that house in the dream, and all of a sudden I hear the words that say, stay away. So the next day I tell my mom, she thinks I'm just being uh, ignorant or whatever, because she thinks I don't want to move further away from my boyfriend, who is my husband now. Um, so anyways, um, it got really bad. Uh, we moved there and the first day we were there I was painting my bedroom and all of a sudden I became completely overwhelmed by all these emotions every negative emotion that you can possibly think of I was overwhelmed with it for no reason and so I drop my brush I come out of the room I go into the living room I sit down on this little stepping stool and I just start weeping I mean I was crying so hard for no reason that you know, was known to me, and I, I couldn't answer my mom, I couldn't tell her what was wrong at first, because I couldn't stop crying, and then I finally did, and she thought, she just blamed it on me being tired, she blamed a lot of the paranormal stuff on, because, oh, it's because of the books I read, or because my imagination was wild, or, you know, it was, nowadays she believes me, she actually has me go, if she's getting ready to move, she has me go into the house to fill it out, so that way she doesn't move into a place, because after... Uh, I moved out of this particular place and, and I moved in with my dad. She had some bad experiences, but I'll talk about that later in the video. So anyways, uh, so the first night we spent the I night there. on the couch and my mom slept in her room and I had this dream that there was blood dripping from this the attic coming through the ceiling and it was dripping all over the floor. So me and my mom both wake up rather early that morning right after the sun had came up and I go in there and we were just talking about going to get breakfast or whatever and all of a sudden we both start tasting blood in our mouth at the same time and then I remember my dream and I told her about it and um but you know she still didn't take it you know heed the warning at all and there was really not, not, not much I could do because I was a teenager um eventually did move in with my dad and um there was so many bad experiences at that place. It was 84 acres of land. 84 acres of hell is what it was. There was a lot of bad stuff that happened there. I was having nightmares every single night. And I would tell my dad, you know, uh, about these nightmares. And only to find out that that stuff had actually really happened there. And I actually think I talk about that later in the video. So, <laughs> sorry if I've repeated myself or I'm rambling at this point. I'm just trying to make the video as short as possible, though, too. So, my brain's a little scattered. Uh, anyhow, um, it was just a really bad place to live, and since then, you know, my entire life, I've experienced a lot of paranormal stuff. Uh, the place I live now, I swear to God, it's like a geographical paranormal hotspot. Like, I think we live on some type of portal. Uh, there's been a lot of death out there on the land as well, plus there's been a death within our own house in our living room my husband's dad had died uh before we had started dating years ago so uh there's also that uh but anyways so uh i just i don't even know where to start or where to end or anything but here's the next clip i hope you enjoy
uh, once a week I'll be posting a spooky time with Amy and it'll be a uh, better quality because I'll have it all scripted out next time. Alright. Okay, so this is uh, continuing the whole ghost story thing. Um, I'm just finishing it in a different spot in my truck. So if you don't like it, I am so, so sorry. Anyways, so as I was saying, um, so we moved into that house and every single night, um, every day, uh, every night I was having nightmares. Every day and every night there was this weird stuff happening. I would literally see someone walk into like my bedroom when my mom was like in her room or in the kitchen. <clears throat> my little sister was always, <clears throat> at the time she was really little, so she was either in the playpen or a crib, you know. Or she was with me, and she was tiny. I mean, and I was seeing a grown-ass person. Oh, and we would hear bouncing coming from upstairs in the attic, right? Um, we found out later that the previous uh, tenants that had lived there for a very long time, because their their parents had lived there and their grandparents and whatever, but um, one of her uh, little brothers had actually died in that house at a very young age, and. They, they said he was mentally challenged, but he used to go up in the attic all the time and bounce his ball. And, uh, oh, I just felt so much bad stuff. It was just like, it was like very dark. And I even felt like there had been some really dark magic practice there. Because I kept getting, getting this image of witchcraft. Uh, but like the bad, bad guy, you know. Um, and like I said, uh, the dreams I was having every night, I would always go and tell my dad only to find out later that, that those things had actually happened like years and years ago at that place. Um, and so it got to the point where at nighttime I would get, I would wait till my mom and sister were going to bed and I would get in a shower and this one particular mm -hmm. night I'm standing in front of the mirror, brushing my teeth, about to get undressed, and I hear my name being whispered very loudly next to my ear. Well, I go and see if my mom had hollered for me, knowing that it probably wasn't her. She was in bed, and she's never spoken in her sleep ever. And her and my little sister were both sound asleep. So I go back into the bathroom. It happens again. And I'm just like, okay, this is ridiculous. So I try to ignore it. Well, it happens the third time. So this time I go and I wake up my mom and I was like, Mom, you didn't holler for me, have you? I mean, did you happen just to wake up and holler for me or something? And she was like, no. And I was just like, okay, you know. So at that point, I stopped taking showers at, you know, in the evenings. I waited and I did, um, took my showers during the day. And then uh, my boyfriend, which was my husband now, like I said earlier, uh, Jeremy would come over, uh, we would alternate weekends. He'd come over to my house every other weekend and I'd go to his every other weekend. Well, um, when he'd come, one of the weekends he came over, we were sitting in my room and I had like a futon bunk bed. And we were just sitting there talking and I just happened to look over at the wall, the wall that I had painted just one color, okay? And there was this spot where like, it looked like some white paint had formed and it was a swastika and we both seen it and we're just <laughs> what the hell man I went and we had a little can of green paint left over from my mom had used somewhere else I went directly in there without saying a word and I grabbed that shit and I grabbed a brush and I painted a big green blob right over that spot because I did not I never want to see that again I was so freaked out and there were times I'd be sitting in my room during the day, and I used to read, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm an avid reader. And I would sit in my room, and I remember one time, this woman had come into my room and said, Amy, are you okay? And I was like, I turned around, and I looked at her, and she was an older, frail-looking woman. And then she, she was kind of translucent, and then she just, just was gone. And, uh... It was really trippy but I think she might have been a good spirit but she was probably the only good spirit that was there because the rest of them were demons or demonic spirits one night uh, when Jeremy was staying over the weekend he was sleeping on the top bunk and I was on the bottom and we were trying to go to sleep and all of a sudden we kept hearing on the metal which was hollow on the inside of the, of the bed now so I don't know if I can make the same sound but it was like 
Anyways, it had like an echo to it, but it kept going. And it was like doing it over and over and over and over. And it was loud. It was hard. And we were freaking out. And we were both laying there. We were almost afraid to move at first. And finally I got up and I went to my mom and I told her because we were so scared. And like I said earlier, my mom brushed all of it off and never took me seriously. And she goes, it's probably just a bug. And I'm just like, well, that bug is about to have brain damage. If it's like running itself into the bars. Plus, it would not have been that loud and that hard and that echoey. So, anyways, um, when I started sleeping on the couch and I slept with all the lamps on, the TV on, the kitchen light on, the bathroom light on. It got so bad. I mean, I just couldn't take it no more. And I wasn't sleeping, it, which was driving me more nuts. So, one night I'm laying on the couch and I wake up from yet another nightmare. And in the doorway, of the living room there's the living room doorway and then there's my mom's doorway but here in the living room doorway there is this extremely tall translucent vibrating kind of figure like I just felt like a male energy from it but it was more demonic than anything and it was almost taller than the doorway itself and it was just kind of like it was weird the way it, the energy that it was made out of was very odd. It's something I'd never seen before and never seen since. And I looked at it and made whatever you would call eye contact with it. And it suddenly walked into my mother's room, which is also where my sister slept. Well, I tried to get up off the couch to run in there to warn my mother. Something was holding me down. I could not get up fast enough. And then suddenly I hear my sister screaming bloody murder. And I finally break free from whatever was holding me. And I went running into their room. And when I did, I know I ran through the energy of that entity. It was the weirdest. I mean, like a vibration and warm wind just went like through my whole being. Not just my body, but my whole soul. And oh, so my sister, you know, would look, she'd be sitting on the bed with me and she'd be looking up at something and smiling and then she'd be pointing, sissy, sissy, you know, something like that. It was weird stuff. And sometimes she'd be looking around scared, but uh, like almost every night she'd wake up screaming and she'd be jumping up and down in her bed screaming and pointing, you know, across the room. And she wasn't really talking much at that point. So, you know, mom you know would just blow it off because I would be like look she's seeing stuff too no 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 I finally ended up moving out moving in with my dad and I found out later that my mom uh she only stayed there about another year because she started experiencing the same things but they were worse until this day she cannot speak of whatever happened while she was there without me it um started you know attacking her and scaring her and stuff and my sister but um she even found black snakes in her house a lot well i don't know i don't think they were black ones i'm not sure but she was finding snakes in her house whereas that never used to happen when i was there anyways there was a lot more that had happened there that was just a little rundown of it all so uh, i hope you enjoy but once a week i'm going to try to post some paranormal videos because i have experienced a lot more than just that and not just at that house but it, anywhere things just follow me and I think it's because they know that I can see it and sense it and feel it and understand it I understand what's going on within the spirit realm where a lot of people don't they have speculations I know like I just know within my spirit <laughs> how things work so anyways um that's it for the spooky time with Amy and uh, the next video will hopefully be better I'll come up you know with an intro and an outro and maybe some spooky music who knows so uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the story bye bye